Popper has a brand new storm wing condition. It's Gutter Snipe, originally printed in Ravnica, downshifted in Commander Masters. It is the Popper Tendrils of Agony. Today I'm going to show you how powerful this card can be. This is it. This is the deck. The old Galvanic Relay Shell repurposed for Gutter Snipe. Well, what is Gutter Snipe? It is a 3 mana, 2 and a red for a 2 2 goblin. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, Gutter Snipe deals 2 to each opponent. Okay, so that means that it doesn't trigger on artifacts. So while we are playing an experimental synthesizer specifically for Deadly Dispute, Lotus Petal, Chromatic Star, you know, Acre Wellspring, they don't trigger it. They do trigger off of Kessig Flame Breather, our secondary win condition in this deck. Originally, I was playing Unearths, but I found that you just really need a pinger early in these decks in order to win, so we'd rather play a mass of them rather than play something like Unearth to get one back because that means that we have to find the original to begin with. When we look at the deck, it's really just broken rituals and accelerants in general. We have Dark Ritual, Rite of Flame, a card banned in Modern, Cabal Ritual, Seething Song, another card banned in Modern, and then a bunch of really efficient draw spells like Deadly Dispute, Reckless Impulse, and the recently printed Ren's Resolve. So the idea is that we're going to play a pinger, cast some rituals, draw some cards, do this over and over and over again until our opponent is dead. That's the idea. Gutter Snipe is the pauper tendrils of agony. You've heard it here first, and I'm about to show you how good it is in match number one. I'll see you there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks such as badges, emotes, exclusive members only content, and access to our members discord section. As you increase the tiers, there are other rewards such as shop discounts, cyborg guides, early access to videos, and even free donation decks. Click the join button down below to find out more. We also have other ways you can support us such as theepicsroom.com slash shop or submitting a donation deck via the epicstorm.com slash donation decks. That's enough for now. Let's play some magic. Welcome to match number one. We're on the play with Gutter Snipe Storm. Keep, 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 keep. I love it. Good hand right out of the gates. All right, we'll play our turn one mountain and pass the turn. All right, so we're facing a blue deck and they're choosing to just pass the turn. Synthesizer, let's play that because it works well with our Deadly Dispute. And if we had a land here, we did not, we'll pass. They cycle a Lorian Revealed, so it's probably... Okay, so they're on Is It Terror or Is It Fairies? Good to know. Going to Deadly Dispute the Synthesizer. Trying to hit our third land drop here. Another Kessig Flame Breather goes to Exile, and we've missed the land. We'll pass. And they're going straight to clean up. They discard an Archaeomancer. Reckless Impulse. Looking for land three. Counter spell. Okay, that's fine by me. Oh, okay, so you're Jess guy. Synthesizer. We're 25% of the way through our deck. We've seen two lands. Triggers. There we go. Pass. If our opponent taps out, I like our chances of being able to win this game. And they do not. They have six cards in hand. Let's play Gutter Snipe. We have another one, so I don't mind playing this one out early. Pass the turn. They bolt it, that's fine. They're now on five cards. They play land number five. Mole Drifter. So they'll draw two. If they have an Ephemerate here, they can flicker it and it will come back and they do. So now they're just holding open Lightning Bolt. They've already played a land, so this is going to be a turn for us to try to win. Our real concern here is a Dispel or another Bolt. Ren's Resolve. Let's start off on Rite of Flame. That looked like an F6. Interesting. Seething Song. Gutter Snipe. We now have Threshold, and I'm, I did this so that way I can respond if need be. If they try to kill my Gutter Snipe, I can play some stuff at instant speed for damage. Let's try a Manamorphose here. So I did lose out on two damage, but my goal here, I think, was to maximize more damage by playing out a Ritual first. I mean, they might not have a Bolt or any interaction, but it's what I went with. 
All right, another land and a synthesizer that does not trigger the gutter snipe. We'll play Cabal Ritual. They go to 12. Cast Deadly Dispute, sacrificing the synthesizer. This does trigger gutter snipe. So first we exile a card. It was a land. Ren's Resolve. I'm going to hold the, the Lotus Petal because if we find another Kessig, that represents a damage. Another Ren's Resolve. Okay. Let's cast that. We'll go down to two black mana floating. They're at six life. Dark Ritual. Okay. So this puts them to four. We'll sacrifice a treasure. We'll play Synthesizer. Triggers. Another Reckless Impulse. That was great. Let's sacrifice the treasure. Play the Impulse. They will go to two life. Another Reckless Impulse and a Great Furnace. That's perfect. So now we can play Lotus Petal. And that's game number one over Jeskai, a deck with a ton of interaction. I love that. So now we go to the post board where we want Duress, and I think we also want Pyroblast. And in these games, we're looking to slow down a little bit, so I think you're actually allowed to board out Lotus Petal. Uh, because you really need to keep a density of rituals and draw spells, or else you get punished. And I think we're going to board down one on each win condition. Submit. Once again, you kind of have to keep rituals and draw spells in. And when you're running eight win conditions, you're better off protecting them using Duress and Pyroblast than you are just having a ton of them. Game number two, keep. They play a turn one beachfront. We'll play a peat bog, pass. They play another tap land. Great furnace. We're just going to play land go for a bit. Try to build up our resources. Augur of Bolas, okay. They find a Cleansing Wildfire. We draw a Seething Song, play the Great Furnace, and we'll pass. They decide to go after their own Silver Bluff Bridge, so they get to ramp and draw a card. Pretty powerful. We'll take one. Ouch. Okay, this seems like a decent window for us to try to win here. Let's try a Synthesizer. Triggers, Dark Ritual, I will cast that. Attempt a Deadly Dispute, sacrificing the Synthesizer. We find a Kessig Flame Breather. I'm trying to figure out my mana here. So let's Seething Song. A Blue Elemental Blast. We will Red Blast. Seething Song. Resolves. Play the Kessig Flame Breather. Let's try a Dark Ritual. Ah, uh, they had double interaction. That's unfortunate. Okay, we're probably not winning this turn. Reckless Impulse. Gutter Snipe, hello. Okay, so let's... Dark Ritual. Play Gutter Snipe. Runs Resolve. Deals two. We ideally want to find, like, a Deadly Dispute here. We boarded out Lotus Petal. Yeah, I can't play either of those this turn. So we have to pass. They have five cards in hand. They play land number six, Archaeomancer. So this gets back Lightning Bolt. Yep. Unfortunate. We're pretty low on resources here. I'm not sure if we're going to get this one. Let's try Ren's Resolve. A pair of Cabal Rituals. Synthesizer. And a Rite of Flame. We'll pass. They cast a Preordain. Two on the bottom with the Preordain. They attack for two, I'll go to 16. Land, they have three cards left in their hand at this point. Mole Drifter. This brings them up to four. No Ephemerate. Deadly Dispute. Is this a go window for us? I think it might be. Cabal Ritual. Cast the Deadly Dispute, sacrificing Synthesizer. Synthesizer will exile a card. We have to remember that they do have a Lightning Bolt in hand. We boarded in three Duress, but we have to build up enough card advantage before that Duress is really relevant. We exile a land, unfortunately. And a pair of Rite of Flames. Let's try the other Synthesizer. Triggers... And it reveals another synthesizer. So let's write a flame here. And again, 
I think if we're going to win this, we have to use some resources here. Let's cast another Synthesizer. We have six mana floating. It reveals another land. We will sacrifice a Synthesizer the hard way, creating a 2-2. We've revealed a Gutter Snipe. Let's cast Cabal Ritual. See if this Synthesizer can hit a Duress. Nope, more lands. Darn. Play the Peep Bog. Play Gutter Snipe. And they blast it. I mean, we know that they have a Lightning Bolt in hand. I guess a Pyroblast. Pass the turn. Or I thought they had a... Maybe I'm... I'm confused. I'm pretty sure that they got back a Bolt, but it's still in their graveyard. So did they pick up something else? Another Archaeomancer. Gets back Bolt. Okay, so they have three cards against my Lightning Bolt. I'm sorry, against my Dark Ritual. They Cleansing Wildfire. Yeah, we just drew way too many lands that last turn. We had a chance, but unfortunately, Popper's a format with a lot of variants. We should pass here, because if we attack, we risk losing. Because they just double block one, block the other, and then the next turn they double block again, and they end up with an auger, and we end up with nothing. Murmuring Mystic. Alright. They have two cards left. We have another land. I'm going to concede. Save some time here. I'm not going to win this one, and honestly, it's not very entertaining for people to just sit here and watch me lose very slowly, so... Next game. I wonder if instead of Seething Song, we just like try to overload them on creatures, just have a few less rituals in the deck. Game three, we're on the play. No lands, unfortunate. Ay, ay, ay. Am I supposed to keep this? I guess so, but it's really a feel bad. There's no land, too. We're going to have to hit running lands for this hand to be good. But I don't know if we can beat Jeskai by going to five. They have a turn one preordain. Come on, land drop. Nope. We'll pass. So I could write a flame into Reckless Impulse, but I don't think that's a good play. They play a land. We miss on our land drop. They have another land. We find Great Furnace. We'll pass now. Next turn we could Reckless Impulse if we so choose, but I don't think we should do it there. Manamorphose. Let's attempt the Reckless Impulse. We did not hit a land. A Cleansing Wildfire? Okay. This could be a window for us to try to win here. They're tapped low. Right of Flame. Manamorphose. We'll do Red Black. Cast a Dark Ritual. Let's play Synthesizer. Triggers. Another Rite of Flame, okay. Play the Great Furnace. Cast Rite of Flame. We're almost a threshold for this Cabal Ritual. Sacrifice the Synthesizer. Here we have too much interaction. Uh, and then we reveal a Pyroblast. And we found nothing. We have to pass the turn. I guess I could duress them here. And use this Pyroblast if they try to interact. Yeah, we're dead. I don't think we're going to be able to beat that hand. So you might have been saying, why take the Ephemerate? Well, our opponent has to go all in on like a Dawnbringer Cleric or a Mold Drifter tapping low. But also, we just need time. We're so far behind right now. And this Ephemerate really buries us with Mold Drifters. Pass the turn. Ouch. They cast a Mold Drifter. Deadly Dispute. Let's try a Rite of Flame. Runs Resolve. Kessig Flame Breather. They blast. We will blast back. Rite of Flame. This triggers. Sacrifice the Treasure. Cast Deadly Dispute, sacrificing a Great Furnace. Another Flame Breather. Okay. We will blast that. They're at 19. We're going to have to be incredibly lucky to win this. Manamorphose. Black, red. A land. Bummer. 
clear these, and then we'll cast Duras. They'll go to 15. Take Counterspell, player land. We just have to pass back here. Hope that next turn we draw into another Reckless Impulse effect. Augur of Bolas. They find a Lightning Bolt, so they're going to kill a Flame Breather here. Unfortunate. They play the Dawnbringer Cleric. And a land. So they have Moldrifter on one card. Draw. It's a land. Pass. Another Lightning Bolt. Brutal. They play another Moldrifter. Now they have three unknown cards. We're at 12. Okay. I'm going to call it there. Uh, they have enough power on board where I'm dead in two attacks and I would need more than one draw step in order to win. So unfortunately, the deck with tons of interaction got us in match number one, but there's still plenty of magic left to be played. You saw the possibility of how good Gutter uh, Snipe can be in game number one. We didn't get a post-board game. Sometimes variance happens, but I'll see you in match number two. Moxfield.com is the easiest way to build a magic deck online. They support over 30 formats, including Legacy and many other Eternal formats. There are so many options to view decks the way that you want, from text view to individual cards, mana value, and even card price. There's also light mode and dark mode. My personal favorite feature is card tags. This way you can sort cards by function. Moxfield supports collection tracking, scryfall search, deckless feedback, and so much more. Follow me on Moxfield.com so you can stay updated on all of my decks. Match number two on the play. No lands, Mulligan. This seems fine. I think we'll bottom the Lotus Petal. Let's do it. Turn one, Pete Bog Pass. Another island matchup. Okay. Sandstone Needle, send it back. On our end step, they cycle a Lorien Revealed, getting another basic island. Sure thing. They cast a Ponder. We take a draw to Metamorphose. We're just going to continue to play Lang Go. We need to build up resources. Right now, we're so far away from being able to try to win this. They cast a Mental Note, milling over a Spell Pierce and a Cryptic Serpent. Delver Secret. So they're Mono Blue, I believe. This is just like Mono Blue Terror. They're holding open a Counter Spell. We will pass. Another Thought Scour. Our secrets triggers in their upkeep reveals a brainstorm. They play land number four. Ouch. <clears throat> Excuse me. I go to 17. Post combat, they play Telerian Terror. Yep. Gutter Snipe. I think I'm going to wait one more turn. The difference between them having three and four untapped mana isn't a whole lot. And stuff, they cast that brainstorm. Thought Scour, Mills, another Thought Scour, and a Deep Analysis. So now they'll attack for 8, and I'll go to 9. So they would have to play another creature to represent lethal. They play a Brainstorm. Land number 4. And a Terror. Okay, this is it. We're not getting another turn, so let's add some mana. Just to get those counters off the land. We're a Cabal Ritual deck, so those cards will put themselves to the graveyard here. Let's start off with an Experimental Synthesizer. It will trigger and reveal a Manamorphose. Cast a Deadly Dispute, sacrificing the Synthesizer. We reveal a Ren's Resolve. Alright, we're short on mana here, unfortunately. Play Lotus Petal. Let's cast Manamorphose. They counterspell Manamorphose. That's odd. Okay. Let's Manamorphose again. I mean, I guess if they're willing to counter this, they probably have a spell pierce, but I don't think I can afford to play around that. So let's cast the Cabal Ritual. And I'm going to get spell pierced here, and we can go to game two. Yep. Really odd that we ended up being choked on mana there. We just never drew a single ritual that wasn't this one Cabal Ritual. We were 25% of the way through our deck. That's just kind of, un it's unlucky. Uh, I don't like to blame things on luck, but when you look at the math, it says that, hey, you probably should have. We'll bring in Duress and Pyroblast. Get rid of Lotus Petals and a couple Seething Songs. Game number two. Ay, ay, ay. 
I don't love this, but we'll keep. Like, just mulliganing with these decks is so tough because you need every little resource you can in order to win. They play a turn one Delver. Let's Ren's Resolve looking for a land. I almost played the Flame Breather, but I think it's more important to find our land. And we missed. Ah, uh, This might be a quick one. They reveal a Spell Pierce. <laughs> yeah. I mean, when you look at the Pauper metagame, the decks we're facing are not popular. Uh, it's like a lot of Ponza stuff like that right now, and Affinity without removal, because uh, all that glitters is the best Affinity build now. So there's a lot of decks without removal, which made me think that this would be a good idea today. And we get paired against Mono Interaction decks. Uh, let's play into the known Spell Pierce, I guess. Surprise, surprise. Pass the turn. A Thought Scour, a Null. Okay, that's an odd one. I guess if you're mono blue, you're stretched for sideboard slots, so that's actually not that unreasonable. We draw. All right, I'm going to concede. I value my time on this earth, and uh, this is not worth playing out, so bummer. We're 0-2. I'm confident we can win some matches. I really am. I'll see you in the third one. Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and Mana tokens, as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. All right, match three, no lands, we will mulligan. This seems like an okay hand. We'll keep and get rid of the Lotus Petal. I know that Lotus Petal is our red source here, but I don't think it's actually what we want. So I'm going to bottom it and we can just move on with our lives. I do think if you want to play these decks on a budget, Chromatic Star in that slot is okay. It does It's not a free card to play off of Synthesizer or whatever, but it does keep your chain moving so you don't fizzle as often. It is a little pricey um, cost-wise, as in mana value. We'll play a Peat Bog, and it looks like we might be facing Jeskai again. Or Affinity. Lembas. Not really sure what they're up to. Not yet, at least. Deadly Dispute, player land, pass the turn. They play a Thought Cast. So they're in Grixis Affinity by the looks of it, which has fallen out of favor. We will Deadly Dispute away the Vault of Whispers. We have hit a Gutter Snipe. Perfect. Dark Ritual, cast Rite of Flame, and then... We actually need to play some spells first, because if I play Gutter Snipe here, I only have two mana left, so I can, like, cycle two Mana Morphos into a Cabal Ritual, and then I can't Synthesize her. Actually, maybe that is the play. Just hope to draw another mana effect. Alright. Gutter Snipe into Mana Morphos. Black Red. Mana Morphos. Black Red. Another Cabal Ritual, we will Reckless Impulse. They go to 14. We missed on lands, wow. That's a little bit unlucky. That's 25% of the way through our deck, and I don't like to blame things on luck. I really don't. I mean, watching this video, you probably don't believe me, but the math says we should see more than two lands 25% of the way through our deck, and we just don't. We also never hit a ritual effect to keep the chain going, like Lotus Petal, Rite of Flame, Dark Ritual, all of those would have worked there. They Galvanic Blast our Gutter Snipe, and we missed on a red source here for these cards, so we have to pass the turn. I believe we've lost this game. They play an Artificer that they can turn their bridge into a 3-3 Indestructible. Yep. Ouch. 17 life, Lotus Petal. There's no point in trying to win here. We're just so far away from being able to win. They attack for 4, we go to 13. They play a Makeshift Munitions. And a Gurmag Angler. So this is our last 
turn we can realistically win this, so now we're forced to go off. A look, a red land that comes into play tapped. Perfect. Ball Ritual, Lotus Petal, Cast Ren's Resolve. Okay, this has been a brutal league. We are down a game when we're already 0 2. The deck is not this bad, I promise you. Like, I, I've been playing in the practice room, like, fine tuning the list. I played a practice league that, admittedly, it did not go well, but I think it's because my deck list was bad, not because the deck was bad itself. It's just, I was on an earlier list that had Faithless Lootings and Unearths, and those cards were just not good the entire time. I think I'm going to just resubmit. We could bring in Dress or Pyroblast, but I don't think that's what the matchup's really about. On the play for game two, uh, Triple Cabal Ritual, one land. We're going to Mulligan. This is better. Bottom a Deadly Dispute. For two reasons. One, we don't have a black source. And two, we don't have things to sacrifice. So I think holding on to two of them says, I'm going to buckle up for a long game and I'll draw well. Pass the turn. They'll send it back. Trying to just draw up to eight cards and then hopefully they tap out and we win. That's the goal here. All right, well, that's seven. This would be the turn for our opponent to tap out for us. Munitions. Yep. Land was fine. We'll pass the turn. Mirror Enforcer. And another Mirror Enforcer. Okay. This is definitely our window here. We need to try to win. Flame Breather. They Hydro Blast. So they're still representing Galvanic Blast as well. Let's Reckless Impulse. Swamp. And Synthesizer. Okay, triggers. Another synth. Dark Ritual. We will sacrifice the synthesizer. Triggers. Another flame breather. And a gutter snipe. A ball ritual. Let's play the flame breather. Synthesizer triggers. Maybe they don't have it. So if that's the case, I could gutter snipe here. And then Deadly Dispute. So that would leave me with no mana floating, but I'd create a treasure. Think about a Manamorphose first. Weigh my options a little bit more. Red Red. Another land. Alright, Gutter Snipe. Deadly Dispute. Triggers, they'll take three. Need to hit here. Land. That was fine. They go to 14. Sacrifice Rite of Flame makes four. They'll take three down to 11. Ren's Resolve. They go to eight. Another Reckless Impulse. This leaves us with no mana floating. They'll go to five. This puts them to two. Might as well cast it. Revealing another land there wasn't ideal. And we have to pass. They have enough artifacts here to kill both of our creatures. Yep. So we're dead next turn because this is 8 damage plus 12 damage. That's 20. We drew a Seething Song, so that's the match. We're 0-3. We were one spell off right there. Bummer. Okay, match 4. With Card Hoarder, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pink comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as 7 tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com slash decklist. Let's try it again. It's match number 4. We're on the draw and we will keep... Turn one mountain, Monastery Swift Spear. Okay. Play a Peat Bog and we'll pass. So we're facing like classic burn here. This isn't Cut Out the Red, this is actual factual burn. They have four cards in hand. Deadly Dispute. We'll play a Flame Breather here. And then send it back. Reckless Impulse, okay. We take two damage off the Alchemists. The Impulse happens. Flame Rift. I'm not blocking. Deal me some damage. I'm at 15. 
They suspend ripple. I get to untap with a flame breather? Okay. I like where this is going. We can play a flame breather. Play the vault. Cabal ritual. Flame breathers deal two now. Another Cabal Ritual. Unfortunately, we do not have Threshold. Deadly Dispute. Sacrifice the Vault of Whispers. They're at 14. That wasn't ideal. Um, Deadly Dispute again. They're at 12. We have to pass. We kind of just fizzled out. Okay. They Rift Bolt me. Deals an extra damage due to the Alchemist. They Flame Rift. Not looking good for the home team. And another Flame Rift. That is going to be game number one. Okay. Whether the storm comes in. Let's get rid of Seething Song and two Flame Breathers. Submit. No lands. Classic. This league has just been a nightmare. Get rid of the sandstone needle here. Play the bog, pass the turn. E2 Lava Runner, yeah, this is just like the classic burn deck. In fact, I own this in paper. Now we'll pass. Flame Rift, we go to 16. Ouch. Vault of Whispers, pass. They attack, we'll go to 14. Sandstone needle, pass back. I mean, if you have 14 points of damage, she got me. Reckless Impulse. They play another Lava Runner. So this puts me to 10. I think we're supposed to try to win here. So let's Synthesizer, or at least like get to a Weather of the Storm to gain life. Reckless Impulse. Deadly Dispute sacrificing the Synthesizer. Great Furnace. Two creatures. Play the Gutter Snipe. I mean, we have to hope that they don't have a Lightning Bolt here, which is probably unrealistic. Play the Rite of Flame. They'll take two. Fire Blast. Okay. Let's Rite of Flame again. I think the best thing that could happen here is we hit Weather the Swarm off this Reckless Impulse. There's four of them in the deck. And we did. Sweet. That'll buy us some time. 34 life. They have another land. They'll play the Alchemist, and they're going to attack for four now. We go to 30. Okay. So... I think we're going to play both Fire Breathers, or Flame Breathers, I'm sorry. And then we will Reckless Impulse. This will deal them two. They'll go to 12. Gutter Snipe Manamorphose. We can Manamorphose here. This puts them to 10. Red, black. Ah, bummer. Okay, we have to pass. We're at 29. Lightning Bolt. They'll take out a Flame Breather, which doesn't really matter here. Like, we can cast Gutter Snipe next turn. They have two cards left in hand. Searing Blaze. Okay, that one's pretty good. They suspend a Rift Bolt, which means that they can kill my Gutter Snipe next turn. Okay. Are we going to lose after going up to 34 life? Play the gutter snipe. I guess I could have... Okay, I could have tried to go for it there. That might have been a mistake on my part. I was so focused on not being able to win. I could have gone Cabal Ritual, Gutter Snipe, Ren's Resolve, Pray that we can deal a lethal. I have two gutter snipes left in the deck. Yeah, maybe I was supposed to. Th that one is admittedly my fault. Maybe I was playing too conservative there. Synthesizer, let's play it. Peat Bog. We're just going to pass the turn. I go to 15 on my end step. I'm at 14. They have two cards in hand. They Reckless Impulse. Chain Lightning in a Mountain. They attack. I'll go to 9. I am not allowed to copy this Chain Lightning. If I copy it, they can copy it back. So that's not what I want to do there. I'm at 5. I'm dead to Fire Blast or Flame Rift. And it's a Flame Rift. Our opponent came back from 34 life to beat me. Wow. Alright, so I have a rule. Uh, this doesn't happen very often. I think you'd have to go pretty far back 
in order to find a video like this, but I don't play out match number five if I go 04. I am terribly sorry, but I value my time. This league was a disaster. There's no other way of really putting it. I don't think the deck is as bad as it looked. That said, it didn't perform. So choose your own opinion. I don't really know what else to say there. Um, I don't really think there's drastic improvements you can make in order to make Gutter Snipe or Kessig Flame Breather work. The big issues, they are creature game pieces that you have to keep in play in a format with Snuff Out, Lightning Bolt, Fire Blast, you name it, there's tons of removal and interaction. So I've never been a big fan of the Flame Breather combo decks. So I don't think Gutter Snipe is that much of an improvement. I mean, we did win game one of this league, but not... I don't know if we want another game after that, so I'm sorry. Uh, thanks for watching. I promise that I'll win more in future videos, just not in this one. So uh, have a great day. Keep storming. Thank you for watching today's video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and after you've done that, go check out Eminence Gaming's Command Tower software. It is the perfect system for creating your own events. It doesn't matter if it's four player or one on one, its intelligent pairing system ensures that everything goes smoothly. Once again, go check that out at eminence.events.